This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Minute Podcast. Thank you for joining us this morning, February 24th. 2023. Here are 15 of the stories that we're following this morning. Uh, first, a lot of volatility in individual stocks. So this is aside from all those notes that we'll have today. Generally, people ought to, unless they really think they know something about that stock, avoid investing in individual stocks or viewed as a small part of their portfolio. Instead, invest in whether it's index funds, mutual funds, or have a very diversified portfolio. My own preference is a core holding, is a Vanguard S&P 500 index, the VOO, and then short-term treasury bonds and other stuff we'll explore with. But a lot of volatility in individual stocks. In our first several stories, we'll talk about some of that. Uh, second, Domino's Pizza fell 12% yesterday on lowering demand for pizza delivery. Uh, obviously, post-COVID, more and more people out, uh, less demand for pizza delivery. They're seeing that going the wrong direction. Three, Wayfair, which was also a COVID darling, an internet sort of furniture store, dropped 23%. Yesterday, they reported a huge loss of customers. Fourth, NVIDIA, which is rising as one of the largest chip makers, the most successful chip makers, rose 14% yesterday. We'll talk about NVIDIA again in a moment when we talk about the seven largest cap companies in the United States. But thank you. Fifth, Beyond Meats had a good day, even though still, for some people, hard to eat. Their stock rose 13% yesterday. Sixth, Warner Brothers Discovery dropped 5% on the reporting of a large revenue loss uh, that was a drop in, in revenues. Warner Brothers Discovery. Seventh, stock indexes are falling sharply today. This is after a core, enforcement, core inflation report came in higher than expected um, at about 0.6% for the month versus 0.5% for the month. People were hoping for 0.4%, but leads to the belief that the Fed will keep on having to raise interest rates. Eighth, in the opposite direction, GDP was revised slightly down for the fourth quarter to 2.7% from 2.9%. Uh, good news for Fed watchers. Ninth, uh, Fed rate policy is shaking up the world of, of debt. Uh, there's an article today about how muni debt is coming under pressure as Fed, the Fed funds rate raises and treasuries become so attractive, muni debt becomes less attractive, and so municipalities have to raise rates to stay attractive, uh, so people are getting hurt in municipal bonds currently. Tenth, the consequences of higher interest rate policy are being starting to be seen throughout the economy. We talked a lot about this yesterday. Consumers start to just struggle with car debt. Big commercial landlords are starting to struggle with their, their payments to their banks. Um, at the end of the day, what we're learning is the Fed itself can't reduce inflation alone unless it drastically raises rates and drastically hurts the economy. Uh, this is, of course, a suboptimal solution to having the Fed do this loan. They probably need work from the government in slowing down in the federal deficit, which adds inflation to the economy. Eleventh, Bitcoin has fallen back to below 24,000. We'll see that plays through. Twelfth, the tenure this morning opened at 3.88%. I understand it's gone higher this morning already. Uh, 13th, the one year is above 5%. It opened this morning at 5.05%. 14, oil is at 76 bucks a barrel. Uh, we'll see how that plays through, but at least that gives some consumers some relief at the pump that oil and gas is not such a high price. Uh, 15th thing that we'll note today is the seventh largest markets, market cap companies in the U.S. Uh, with NVIDIA rising are as follows. Apple, Microsoft, Google Alphabet, Amazon, Berkshire Hathaway, Tesla, which remains incredibly resilient, and NVIDIA, uh, the chip maker, which is just uh, fantastic. So those are, those are 15 of the stories we're following this morning. The big story today, of course, is inflation coming in higher than expected, leading stocks sharply downward. We'll see how that plays through. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Minute podcast. Thank you very much.